I understand the economy. I understand that I'm a kooky dude coming into a pawn shop. No. This is a very nice leather floor. Oh, oh, oh. A very odd customer has Les's attention. I don't have nothing for you. I've been going through this for two years now. Come on. You were supposed to pick up your necklace that I had for you two years ago. We misplaced his chain, found him a replacement. He didn't have the cash, but I held it for him for two years. You only held it for no more than a month. You're lying. They get into an argument. You're lying. I'm lying? You are. Call me Chad Coley, C-O-L-E-Y. No, it was 2007. Seven. So three years ago. Three years ago. You guys mm -hmm. said you lost the chain. You lost you know my what? chain? In life it happened. Because yeah, you didn't have the know. money, why is that my fault? You guys lost my chain. Are you acting like if it's If I fault? say, it is your fault, because I had them chains waiting. You signed something that day and Show told me. me that you signed it at home. You'll bring in the receipt tomorrow and we'll work it out tomorrow. Oh, okay. if you miss it by one day, I will never deal with you again. A customer whose comments are a bit too far. Well, I got a little something I like to pawn. Kind of an interesting story. I'd, I'd go a lot of garage sales and estate sales, and the weird thing was it was almost like a uh, KKK convention. We were selling this for a target practice. I don't think he was racist. I just think he was a little slow. <laughs> I don't consider myself a racist, even though I bought a racist item. I guess it would be considered coming from them. But to a normal person, this is a collectible item. I'll cast iron answer my doll. Les gets down to negotiating. I looked him up online. On the higher end, they're about 175. I'd give you 50. And that's 25 hours more than I should spend. All right, yeah. All right. I can do 50 on All right, it. All right, good. Did he you barely really pay 50 bucks for that? I did. eBay buy it now, 25 bucks. Is it really? Two or 25 bucks. They're not 150, <laughs> they're only 25 bucks. I can either give you 15 or give it back. You know, I'll just take it back. I'll keep it for a memory. A lady with some very interesting items has Les's attention. Got some bondage gear that I'd like to sell. I'm a dominatrix. Nipple clamps. Can we use something like these? Thumb clamps. I've got uh, kind of a set, so I've got the leg irons. This okay. is a very nice leather floor. What are you looking to get through all this? All of this stuff, at least two fifty. However, Les cannot make an offer. We ended up not buying the stuff. Wouldn't even know how to display that kind of stuff. Or thank you for coming in. Wow, what a grip! <laughs> thank you. Next up. We have a returning customer. Greg the Ray. He saw us. He loves us. He even went as far as staying at the motel next door just so he could be here the next day when we open up. Rich takes a look at the items. A friend of mine, it hasn't been signed yet. Some books. I got yeah, an old mug that I'd like to pawn off. Should Here's I say a I brand new wallet from my company. Is that all you, that you had Wait. for me? Can't do anything with these, man. Salt and pepper? They're porcelain. Just like last week, I can't do anything with these. Oh. But there is more to it. He has a pair that we would take in to pawn. 2002 limited edition Monte Carlo. I'll tell you what, let's go take a look at it. That's what I asked you to begin with. Hey, slow down. A car that has been turned into more by the customer. Holy, this guy's got a license. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. You living in this thing? Yeah, I told you I'm homeless. I thought you were joking. <laughs> You're making me nervous, dude. They start talking prices. The very least that you can take on a loan. Keep going 3, down. 3,500. Keep going down. 27. Keep going. 29. No, you're going the wrong way now. 2150. Can you get under two? 1999. Okay, maybe we'll work something like that out. I go get the title right now. But it's not finished yet. Boy, that son of a gun weighs a ton. Greg's back with more useless stuff I can't do anything with. Looking to only loan, the customer sets his price. I would need as much as possible on this. 300, 400 right now. Are you kidding? No. I found one for 350. Okay. Similar. 200. How about 100? 150. 100. 100 is a deal. This lady walks into the shop with a rare attitude and item. I see you sweating. No, I was doing karate outside. No, I'm Bruce Lee's sister. Can you show me a move? <laughs> what you got? A mink fox. Did you want to pawn it or sell it? Sell it. Sell it. 50,000. It's safe to say, Les is left speechless. Who does your hair? I do it myself. Wow. I put three weeks together and I make myself sweat and that's how I lose weight. Who's in it now? Although it seems impossible, Les tries to negotiate. 50,000. How about a hundred dollar loan? Uh -huh, give me a hundred dollar loan. Fine, not a problem. And it was that simple. <laughs> Standing in line, we have two ladies arguing. Oh, that's lying. No, I told you I didn't want to come to this mother <laughs> man, Every time I, we go somewhere, you gotta stop. Look, bitch, <laughs> hands and <laughs> done for tomorrow. Ashley approaches the two ladies 
trying to grab their attention. Why the f you always motherfucking ask me to f ride with your stupid ass? Ma'am, what the f you want? Shush my ass, what the hell you want? Security was ready, but not needed. That's very inappropriate. There's kids around here. Why do you motherfucking bring the f of kids up in the pawn shop anyway? In the end, the two ladies leave on their own. Oh, bitch, if I fall, I think got a lawyer, mother right? Kiss my ass, how about that? Next in line is a mother and her child aiming to raise money. If I'm trying to pawn this, it's about $30. Got my baby's birthday coming up. I just need a couple of extra dollars to help out. We don't take 35 millimeter cameras anymore. What do you have planned? A birthday party, you know, cake, ice cream. Despite his efforts to assist, he discovers another issue. Toy When's your something? birthday, bud? Really? The story was bold. The kid ratted her out saying, yeah, my birthday's in two months. I really would have appreciated any little thing that you could have gave me. It's a nice camera 10 years ago. The customer becomes agitated. This is some bull You could have gave me $30 for it. I wasn't asking for an arm and a leg. I was just asking for a little tools and few. A lady walks in to pawn some highly unusual items. I'm here to pawn some panties. Some what? Panties. Yeah, yes, panties. They all have a tag? Yes, all of them have a tag. I have a little donk, okay? You see, I have a, I have a little bit back there. What do you do? I have 365 pairs, one for every day that you heard. Negotiations are underway, but Ashley encounters an issue. What are you looking for, brother? Um, at least 50 pairs, so at least $75. What do you think I'm gonna do with all these? I'm sorry, I can't buy can't. underwear from somebody. So you me out. There's hair on them. I can't do it. What I'm do sorry. You think hair? The customer starts becoming difficult. I can't buy underwear from somebody unless I buy it from a store. I'm not grasping the concept. Like, it's not that difficult it, it, to understand it, it, that I'm not interested in your underwear or your bras. In, store of but I'm saying on. you don't. End of story. But enough said. We don't take underwear in plot, and we don't buy them. Just don't understand why I don't want to take any panties. We told you. No, he told me. No, no. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. you didn't. Yeah, I did. I swear, I was going to get ethnic on her, but I, I didn't. I didn't. Moving on to a customer with a unique ability. I was hoping you could help me. Goward's kind of like uh, Mad Max meets Charlie Brown. Well, I resemble that statement. Shut up. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't hide at all. I'm out in the open. Just the messenger. So he's making you do it then? Yeah. Seth steps in and negotiations begin. How much are you looking for? You're asking us to basically invest in something that has no value. I understand the economy. I understand that I'm a kooky dude coming into a pawn shop. No. But I'll let them go for 25 bucks each. After a lot of back and forth, he promises to return. What if I came back and made puppets all three of you? That'd be cool. I'd like yeah. to see I like that. Sense. Do me a favor, can you put a little bit more hair on mine? I'll buy everything for 15 bucks. You gotta understand, these are cast resin clay. I'll tell you what, what if we gave you a loan for 15 bucks, you can get them back. Loan me the 15, I will be back. This is you. Wait, it's rich. This is a great loan. Ashley and Les are met with a very unusual item. Uh, I wanted to see if I could get a pawn loan from my prosthetic eye. See, I lost my eye. You see that? Took the bearings off the floor and threw it over the dock. It hit me. Right in your eye? Yeah, so yes. my eye came out like a boiled egg. Les is interested and wants to know more. You know, we do take prosthetic limp. There's a demand for that. I don't really know if there's a demand for a prosthetic eye. I can't get anything. How much do you need? Like 100, 150. But despite being a good story, Les has to look at the business side of things. If it would be a prosthetic limb, you know, I could resell it. But for us, this would really have no value. I'm sorry. A customer and Robert walk into the shop. My partner right here, Robert, we want to pawn this. You're who? My partner, Robert, right here. Les is baffled. What do you think about this? Be cool, Robert. Be cool. Be quiet, Robert. I think it's really cool, but I can't give you anything for it because it's not so. What do you mean you can't give me nothing for this? Robert, tell him. Tell him, Robert. Tell him. Les decides to introduce his friend as well. Have you seen Steve doing our commercials? Robert, meet Steve. Steve, Robert. Steve. Steve? Steve. The customer demands something more. I need to talk to the boss man. And he talking about he can't give me nothing for this. What the f is that? You know, come on, let's go to the outside. I got to look at it a little more better. I ain't leaving. I'm not, I'm not leaving, man, until I get some money. I'm the security is put into action. Uh-uh, no, man. You know what? I'm not coming back to this mother Damn it, Robert ain't coming back.
but the customer forgets someone behind. Come on, Robert, let's go. Oh, you got Robert fucking... Here you go, here you go. Yeah, thank you, because I went off and left. This I'm not right. coming back no more. Seth heads over to help a customer. Came up here one day to get extension. So I call up here, I say, yo, I, I was trying to find out what I could do to make arrangements to keep my stuff. He told me, oh, you fine. Here's three months, you can come and pick it up at September. All right. Only a couple of moments into the story, Seth smells something fishy. Who said that? Wait, wait, Who said that? I'm, on, I'm not no, going to name him just yet. Yeah. So you're already lying. Twice. You cannot get a 90-day extension go, on the phone. Go, oh my, Are you going to uh, let me talk? Computer. Are you going to let me talk? Things begin to get heated. We don't give 90-day extension. What's stopping me from breaking them rules if I'm on the phone and you out here talking to another? You're escalating. I, I will when I when right now. turn my property or call the police. The customer has other plans in mind. Take off. My paper back. I want the end message. Get up. I'm calling the police. Arm, man. My arm is just... Let him go. This next customer walks in looking for his girlfriend's bracelet. Um, I'm here to uh, get my girlfriend's uh, bracelet back, tennis bracelet. I'm not allowed to just give anybody's item away. Look, hold on a second. Slow it down. I can't go back empty-handed without her bracelet, okay? You guys said I didn't need it. Come out we would have never, ever name. told you that. And just like that, we have a situation on our hands. Told you what? I don't know. I didn't get a name. Okay. Back sure, where's the ticket? It's her I don't have a ticket. What? I gotta be on my flight by four o'clock. I appreciate that. Well, let me get my bracelet, bro. Sure. Come on. I need a ticket or a notarized letter. That's the only way you can get the bracelet. Things continue to become tense. You're you guys said it was anything. okay on the phone, bro. Give me the You're, you're calling me liar now. You're just, you're I'm calling me liar. You're calling me liar, yeah. bro, from behind that glass. That was perhaps the biggest mistake this customer made. We're gonna make this really, really simple. You're gonna walk out the door. I'm not leaving without it. Make me get out then. Why? Yeah, you're gonna stand behind those people. Poor little uh-huh. You my bracelet. What do you need your boy in front of you for, huh? Snack hungry, this customer has a big issue on his hands. Just look at this one candy bar sitting in front of the ones I want. My favorite candy bar. Man, listen, dude. First of all, look at this candy bar. I just want to try to open this gate up. Somebody open this door. That's all I'm saying. Seth approaches quickly and waits for his turn as the customer keeps rambling. Are you done? You want me to break this piece of crap, dude? Get your hands off me! Call the police, do what y'all gonna do. You, I ain't going out nowhere. Still causing commotion outside as it seems he has forgotten something. Yo, think of this shit. Just because y'all got these big cars don't mean shit. All I gotta do is open the candy bar up, man. Go get my damn payday. Y'all think this shit is a joke. That's all I'm saying. Seth makes sure this unwanted customer is removed. I don't even want to see you, dog. So get the f out the property. You get the f off the property. Think y'all can look at me like I'm a piece of trash. Oh, you gonna throw my wallet like that, man? Don't throw my damn candy bar like that. Up next, we have a costumer trying to pawn a TV. Looking towards pawning my TV and my DVD player. Can't take that. And realistically, I'm not gonna be able to give you a loan on that TV. It wouldn't matter much to me. I would rather sit here and talk to you. But this customer seems to have plenty of time as he shows Seth his life story. I'm really a somebody, you know? I really am. You're soon to be hero of this nation in which you're standing in today. I have been an All-American football player. I got a $80,000 resume. I was security slash homeland security off. I'm only 20. Okay. You can't find nobody else dog like that. Again, Seth sticks to the matter at hand. There's nothing I can do for you. This stuff is just too old. Look, I'm trying not to just make this difficult. You know a lot of me? I said Perfect. You understand? And take it out of here. Seth is not one to back down from a challenge especially on home turf. How about I have you take it out? I don't. You think you scare me? So get the f out of here. You make it. You want to see me make you? Yeah. Walk. Back up, dude. I ain't touching you. Don't touch me, man. The man, I'll break his face, man. I bitch press your weight low, dude. Why don't you take that piece of and get off the property? Okay, Squeaky, time for you to go. This customer walks into the store carrying a big heavy bag, and this raises suspicions. You're not coming here with that bag. This man. is my bag, man. You cannot bring this no, bag man. to the store, my man. No. Yeah, no. no, man. What? No, man. He wants to keep the contents of the bag private. The in the bag is mine. Don't touch my bag, man. Don't touch my bag, man. Don't touch my bag, brother. Give me that damn bag, man. Mother, give me that bag. Finally, they managed to have a look inside. This customer seems very angry about a side effect that he got from the earrings he bought. 
I paid $500 for this uh, earring, and look what this done did in my ear. Ugh. Figure out, this is not the correct earring for the receipt. I got my lawyer with me. I, th this is wrong. The customer didn't back down. I'm talking to you, lady. The earring does not match the description. What do you mean? So you said now I just brought an earring in? I want my money back. This is my attorney. Would you like to meet my attorney? You better not put his hand on me. And you better turn around with your two legs and walk out yourself. Look, man, you're pushing on me. Get out. What you mean, get out? Yeah, you know, took my money. Got my ear turning colors. You come out here and I'll show you what I can do, but keep your butt back there. This guy insists a radio he owns can communicate with aliens. What's up, what's up, what's up big guy? I, I, I've been, I got a transistor radio that communicates with aliens. This <laughs> communicates with aliens. The aliens built and brought this to me. So I think you're just out of your mind. Les, just like everyone else, thinks the customer is way off. They come on my TV, I see him from another galaxy and planet. I think Jesus Christ comes on it too, but mostly just aliens. Because sometimes it's fuzzy. Well, I forgot that you didn't broke it now. I broke it. How come, how come it ain't open? How the hell do I know? That's why I'm asking you. I'm getting the police up here. Sir, we're not going to take it. It did work till you just up. You gonna leave it here then? No, we're gonna put it right over here. Let's put it right here. Les has had enough. I'm calling him up. There oh, you go, sir. Oh, 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 what's going on? What's going on in this place? I came to get a m loan. Who was it just shoved me my back? The aliens. Did it. There you go. Did. Les, being the owner of a pawn shop, deals with these situations often so he knows how to handle them. Yes, I'm gonna get the L shopping down here because this, this, this is a racist. But he jumped on me, told my uh, uh, transistor radio up. Yes, I'm getting the L shopping down here. Johnny Cochran, dig his ass up. Les welcomes a customer who is looking to get her item back. I know the computer is in here. Show me the ticket. And I'm a, I don't have it with me, but okay. I have my ID. Brand new Dale in the box, never been opened. However, there seems to be a misunderstanding. Yeah, she does have a fur coat. Huh? We definitely have your fur coat. No, I want my computer. You have a fur coat in I, And I understand that. Y'all don't know how to talk to nobody. I'm the little dog. Taller no, than no. I am. Yeah, I'm a big, powerful mother big dog. Security is right there to take care of the situation. Now, what would you want? with a poor bitch's computer. I run this mother I'm like the VIP up in this bitch. So find my if I'm stupid, you stupid. We just two stupid mother Well, the problem is, get your hands on me. Yeah, enough of it. Get your hands on me. It's like that big mother Next, a customer looking to sell a pair of earrings. How much I get for my earrings? How much you want? I like, you know, two grand. Uh, 30 bucks. You know what, though? They gonna be worth a whole lot more money when I blow up. When I'm a spider dancer. You're a stripper. Yes, ma'am. Let me hook you up with a dance, but that'd be better enough. I'm gonna give you this. 1200 I'll give you your own private dance right here, right now. Oh, no. You can't, like, take off your clothes here. Despite Ashley's attempt to stop him, he does not. Sir, you have to keep your clothes on. You know what I'm saying? Okay, sir, you need to ask them. Pick it up the wall. Security has to intervene. Oh my God! Let's go, fellas. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Byron, do you want to dance with us? Yeah, slide out the door. Ashley welcomes two young men looking to buy two rings. Just looking for a ring. Oh, that's sharp. My budget's $50. 25 each. Can I see that one right there? Here you go. Try that one on. How much would you, uh, would you charge for it? This one's going to be about two twenty-five. But things are not off to a good start. It's totally out of the budget. All we have is $25 each. Is there cheaper shit anywhere or what? These start at 25 and up Ugly. in your price category, yeah. I would never wear them. All right, is there anything else we can look at or should I just go somewhere else? Do I control your legs? However, something unexpected happens. It's so long. Excuse me, guys. Maybe I can help you. What about that ring? Right here. Yeah, that I like it. What was the price on this guy? Price is actually 50, but I could give it to you for 25. How much would you do for this one? Uh, I can give them both to you for 25. The two young men leave satisfied. So $50 is good? $50 for both, for both of them sounds like a deal to me. Thank you for watching. And as always, like and subscribe for more content.